from the beginning. Who are you? Uh, Tom Davis <laughs> with uh, Green Mesquite Barbecue. Where? Uh, Austin, Texas. Whereabouts in Austin? 1400 Barton Springs Road, 78704. Uh, Greenmesquite.net. Hours are? Between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Most, most eat weekends and 11 to 10 most weekdays. Uh, we're closed two days out of the year, Christmas and um, Thanksgiving, that's about it. What are you known for? Um, I think we're known for... Um, green mesquite. Green mesquite wood. Um, mesquite flavored. I've been told our ribs are great. I used to use a what they call a St. Louis cut rib. Mm -hmm. And I argued with my partner back then. I said, why are we buying this? We can do it ourselves. Just to cut. A, just a cut. Yep. So he didn't believe me. So You sell rib tips now? No, I, I give the dogs, actually. I don't, really? Yeah, I don't keep them. So, I really do, is what I do. And, uh, you can't so, sell them? I could. I can't keep them? Uh, it's, you know, it's funny. Um, um, so, a friend of mine had a meat market here, a meat with a, a big um, at a slaughterhouse, you know, Ken Stewart. Ken Stewart could, couldn't buy brisket as cheap as I could. So, Ken would call me, and I would give him a, I would give him a dime off a pound of all his brisket. He was happy, so, in trade, I would go to this great trader, I guess. I would show up at his meat market on Sunday, he was, he was closed. Mm -hmm. We spent four or five hours all day Sunday. He taught me how to cut meat. He taught me how to cut ribs. It'd be a good, good old, uh, what I call a bone knife, like mm -hmm. a pitar. Yeah. And I bought a great one. And for four weekends in a row, I cut ribs for him. And some of mine too. So my shareholder partner back then, Paul, didn't believe me. He knew everything he thought about barbecue. And I knew he was full of it, so I decided to trick him. So I cut a rack of three and a half, what we used to call three and a half or four and down ribs. Three and a half or down, yeah. And I had, I think I had a Hormel uh, cut, armor. And uh, I cut my ribs, and I had the, 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 the uh, St. Louis cut, and in the same plate, on a big platter, I put both sets of ribs. And uh, nothing on it. And put on his plate, and I said, before you start eating, which one do you think is St. Louis? He goes, I can't tell. So, okay. so I said, didn't say anything. He ate them all, loved them. He said, now which ones were the ones I cut, which was the one they cut? It tastes the same. I said, welcome to the club. So on that one product, I say 1500 bucks a month. One product. I learned to cut it myself. I said, we give everybody in the kitchen a 50 to 75 cent raise, which we did. Bought new knives, taught him how to cut it. God, all of a sudden, from going from four cases a week to you know four cases a day. I mean, that's the difference. That, that, that's if you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and learning is the only good experience you'll ever have in my life. You know, tell someone telling you how to do it, well, you'll never figure it out. That's right. And uh, he didn't last. My partner didn't like my bread. Didn't like anything we did. And. Uh, Make your own bread? We used to. Don't, can't do it anymore. No, no, we used to make a, a jalapeno cheese bread years ago. Mm -hmm. It was heaven. But it was too fancy for this place. You know, I tried ground chuck. No one liked that. I tried I had homemade uh, hamburger buns. I mean, the Texas French bread lady, she made me the best bun. It was, it was like, who cares about the hamburger? That bun was great. Mm -hmm. you know, the customers wanted the Mrs. Baird's or Rainbow Air Buns. They had to have them. So that's what we have. Sometimes you, you can't win, and sometimes you win by losing. Yeah. So even though I lost those battles, I won in the long run. I'm still here after 20, 21 years. So I'm so happy. Um, um, it's a lot of ribs. Um, I saw a, a, a show on Diners and Drive-Ins. The guy who puts his chicken in a brine at night before he smokes it in the day. Oh, that looks interesting. He makes kind of a spicy brine. Mm -hmm. And puts it in this called you know, salt water brine overnight in his walking cooler. Mm -hmm. And he smokes it the next day. I bet that's good. I'm gonna try that.